audience, welcome to this segment of Daily Dose. This segment is for your lower legs. This is really dedicated to all my friends who are getting ready to run the Marine Corps Marathon. A lot of you have been struggling with shin, shin pain or you know lower leg, a lot of pounding on the hard pavement. So this uh, segment is for you. Go ahead and come into downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, shake your head yes, shake your head no. And then bend both your knees nice and deep. Bring your torso towards your thighs. Keep your tailbone lifting toward the ceiling, hollow through your belly. Wag a little bit here side to side. And then keeping the tailbone lifted, start to drag your heels towards the ground. Lift your right foot off the ground and bring your big toe and second toe behind your left heel. And just start to stretch back, right? So just adding a little extra weight there to get deeper into your left calf and your Achilles. And then switch, placing your right foot on the floor, taking your big toe of your left foot and second toe, and just stretching back. So again, just bending there, opening it up, and then release. And then I just want you to start to play with bending your knees and stretching your heels towards the ground. And then work towards straightening them, and then again, bending and straightening. And so you'll just start to notice here that as you bend your knees and keep your tailbone stretching back and start to lengthen your legs, you might start to feel the stretch a little bit different in your down dog as you just sort of bending both knees, right? And the stretch might move from the lower calf and Achilles to the beefier part of your calf muscle. And then inhale, roll forward to a plank pose. Drop your knees down. Take your right foot, step it behind your left, moving it towards the left side of the room, and then walk your right arm over to the left side of the room. Send your hips towards the right, so it's your counterbalance opening up here. So you're getting a stretch in the calf, the Achilles, your IT band, and probably even your low back here. Great, and then release. We'll take it to the other side. Walk your left foot over to the left, and your left hand, uh, your left foot to the right, and your left hand to the right. Push your hips over to the left, finding again that counterbalance opening up here in the calf, the Achilles, the IT band, and perhaps even your low back. And then coming back through center, tuck your toes under again, downward facing dog, and again just pedaling here through the feet. Great, and then inhale, roll forward to a plank pose, drop down to your knees, keep your toes tucked under. You can just have your hands forward, but continue to send your hips back towards your heels. So you might get a stretch here in the back. This is a great stretch for plantar fasciitis, the soles of the feet and the toes. If you're feeling okay, perhaps you walk your hands to your knees, continue to walk them back, and eventually getting to a place where you can have your shoulders over your hips, over your heels. Right, so in this pose, there's a lot of things happening. It may be really hard on your toes. It's actually called broken toe pose. Right, so if it feels like your toes may break off, I mean, that's what the pose is called. But I want you to just calm the mind, right? So this is one of these poses where I believe yoga is great, you know, for those times when your mind is telling your body no more, right? Tell your mind to turn off and just allow your body to soften into this pose, knowing that your toes won't break off here in this pose, knowing that you're stretching the soles of the feet, doing things that you normally don't ask your body to do. You might even feel a stretch in the front of your quad and you can just move your hands a little bit up and down here just as a way to sort of do something different, maybe calm your mind, give your body something else to focus on. Feeling your hands on your thighs might help. Just a few more breaths here, relaxing into this pose as much as possible. I know it's not very comfortable. And then release. Untuck your toes, sit back on your heels, and you'll notice a different sort of stretch. And again, if it's too much to sit all the way back, you can just keep your hands forward and breathe. Walk your hands to your knees, keeping a slight tilt forward, or sitting all the way up and again drawing the belly in and relaxing your face, your jaw, and your eyes. Now you might start to feel a stretch already right here on the front of your shins and then the top of your foot. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, you're just going to lean back, right? Keep the chest moving forward, keep leaning back, try to lift your knees up a little bit more from your mat, and again just going back down. And again, just rocking here. Yeah, this is pretty awkward for your feet and probably even a little bit for your shins. So again, just breathing nice and deep here as you move. Great. And then release. Walk your hands forward. 
Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back down, or facing dog. And then walk your feet back up to your hands, or up to your hands. And then just gently sway a little bit here, side to side. And as you're in your forward fold, I want you to take a moment and just notice the difference between keeping a flat back and sending your hips back, and then taking a nice slow round and thinking about drawing your sit bones towards your heels, and just pushing out as if you were pushing your hips out to the side. And as you push your hips energetically out to the side, you might feel your glutes start to fire up a little bit. And then slowly roll it on up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Great, and then just moving into our last stretch here. You're going to step your left foot straight back. Have your back, your left calf, on the ground, or left heel rather, on the ground. And then from here, you're just going to bend both knees. Right? And some of you may have to shape shift a little bit here just to really feel that stretch. I actually feel this both in my calf and in the front of my left shin here. You just keep your hands to your hips, just breathing nice and deep. Allowing yourself to just sit into this, opening up. Great, and then release. We'll switch sides. So again, you want your right heel flat. You'll bend both knees and sort of just move around so that you start to feel that stretch both in the calf and in the front of the shin, maybe even in, a little bit in your ankle. Great, so just breathing into it. And you can adjust as you're here. Maybe you need to go a little bit deeper, sending your hips back. Maybe you need to shift the, the seat down towards the floor. Okay, breathing. And then step it back up. Shake it out. Anyways, if you're running Marine Corps Marathon, good luck. For any marathon, good luck. Hopefully your lower legs feel a lot better. Bye!